or in another video. This is just a request video on how to make MySpace layouts and stuff. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and make a header. So Control N to make a header. And the header um, preset I use is 955 by 489. And press OK. And what I'm going to do here is select the gradient like that. And uh, I might just edit that, make it a little brighter. Alright. And what I'm going to do is file, place. I'm going to go get that rose I made. I mean, I downloaded it. There it is. I'm just going to leave it at that. Press enter. And what I'm going to do... Maybe I can scratch it out just a little bit. Just a little bit, like that. Press enter. And what I'm going to do is go hard light. Hard light seems to have worked fine. And uh, drop the opacity down to about 80. Like that. And uh, you can give it a, a shape. So go into your shapes and give it a cool shape if you have any. Or if anything, just go over to my website and you can um, download some cool shapes like that. Just gonna drop that over here like that. Oh, I'll just probably drop it in the middle. Not sure what exactly I'm gonna do with that yet, but let's see. Okay, that seems to look pretty, pretty neat. I don't know. Um, next you wanna add some text. The text I'm using is called Fairy Dust. So I'm just gonna Let's see if I can get that working real quick. Alright, I'm gonna call this um we just put Happy Valentine's Day. Alright, so after you do that, you can rearrange it any way you want. So, the way I like to do it is kind of one letter under another, one under another, like that. Kind of looks pretty neat. And uh, if you want, you can give it a cool brush, Control Shift N, to make a new layer. And I got this cool brush, like that. It's a heart. So, I might make that a little smaller. Like that. And uh, then put that underneath everything. And then kind of go drop the opacity just a little bit to about maybe 50, 45. Alright, so to make it a little brighter, press Control N. I mean, not Control N, Control J, just to duplicate it and leave it at that. We're going to edit the text just a little bit, so double click on happy or any other, <laughs> double click on happy, any other text layers that you have, we're going to just give it a drop shadow, give it a little drop shadow right there, maybe a stroke, and decrease the stroke by 2, and press OK. If you want, you give it an inner shadow, I'm not sure if you want to do that, drop the distance and increase it just a little bit to maybe about 10, uh, drop the opacity of that to about 50, like that. And press OK. And then after that, right click, copy layer style. Then click find out Valentine's and any other text layer you have. And um, control click, paste. And then you have pasted your copy layer style. So after you do that, I'm just going to add a little signature down here for Mike's Design Stunning.com. Alright, press that. And after you're done, one thing you need to know is that um, I'm just going to control shift N. I'll put main header. I'll put main header. Or oh, happy V day header. Save. Remember to save as a PSD so you can always go back and change it.
and then control shift N. I'm gonna save it as a PNG. And you want to remember if it's for name, I'll do a whole different tutorial, but it's a whole process. Alright, so after you have that, go into your MySpace page, or first go into Photo Bucket, whatever you have to to upload your image, Photo Bucket. And uh, what you're gonna want to do is upload your your stuff, upload your your images. Or just head over to my website if you have an account and just upload your images there and then copy the link. Go over to my pictures and I'm gonna select both my Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, I didn't save the layout. Okay, that's not good. Go over to my layout. Save it. It's a PNG. It's gonna take a little while to save. All right, so I'm just gonna refresh this. Select both of those and press open. It's gonna upload for a little bit. Take about two, three minutes to upload. And after upload, just get the direct image code. Head over to MySpace, and uh, what you're gonna need to do is go over to Edit Profile or Customize Profile. Uh, we're gonna do Customize Profile first to work on the header. Right, and if you're in MySpace 2.0, this should look familiar. So this right here is my MySpace layout. All right, so this is my MySpace layout. What you want to do is go to your CSS and copy. If you have watched my other videos, you should have the CSS code. If not, go watch how to make a MySpace top banner, and you should be able to get that code. Um, where it says image URL within the parentheses, you want to change that and get the link to it so I have my header right here just gonna get my direct image link copy that go over to MySpace paste that in there and you should be good with that and uh, for the layout or events edit right there for the background you want to change that go over there and copy the direct link control C to copy control C to paste and if you can see that everything just completely updates so I'm just gonna go ahead and publish that see my updates has been published and if you can see that quite clearly my layout has changed from MySpace so I'm just gonna zoom out so you guys can see that so there's the two roses on the side the two roses on the side my cool banner I made and if you want you go back into customize layout and uh, change the theme so the theme will match with the so you can change the blue and everything like that so that's um, a pretty detailed uh, tutorial on how to create MySpace layouts or any type of of the four layouts I explained to you guys in the beginning so if you have any other questions just leave it to me at uh, Mike's help desk for you at gmail.com or check out my website at Mike's design.name.com for any other questions just hit me up there and I'll be sure to answer it so it's me, Mike. Please subscribe, rate, and comment this video, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.